Hi there, uh, I'm going to be doing a quick video, I'm not going to say quick, it might take ages, but anyway, video showing you how to uh, change your belt or the front cog, if it's seized or worn, or these do wear away, these do uh, break, um, so I'm just going to go through uh, replacing it, changing it, first thing, I'm going to stop cover, and front roller so, put to the side right, I've done a video showing doing the belt but this is uh, just on this one again I use I've got this steak knife but I've uh, taped off the sharp bits and just left the end tip because it's nice and sharp and pointed and that's all I've got with me at the moment to, uh, and I've got a blunt this little cap does rock one way to another just very slightly but what you do there you go so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna push down that side so push that side down and then with a steak knife I'm just gonna try and gently this side just push down sort of you're trying to jab it to lift it up a bit um, Now you will struggle to remove these without doing any damage. Sharp didn't design these to be removed. So, uh, yeah. Just gonna try and get under once one side pops out, it's just gently trying to wiggle it, trying to keep it, and then there we go. Uh, yeah, both clips are still okay. But that's all it is really. Um, still quite a clean top surface, and just minimal, minimal marks there. But they're not easy to get off. That's how I found doing these would be is the easiest. You may find a better way. And then all there is is a screw there and a screw there. I believe I've got. T15 torque bit hole in the end and you see you need a hole in the end because there's a in the center of the screw you can see where the hole fits into um, so yeah T15 I believe but this screw is a little bit shorter than the, uh, the one at the back as you can see there we go Taking it off, taking it off, so the cover should just pop out. Uh, I always find it better just popping it under. Seems to come away better by taking it off from the underneath. just popped on clipped on so I'm just trying to gently gently trying to oh he's clipped in there man. yeah it's just really clipped in no damage oh, maybe yeah what we're going to take off yours might have uh, damaged but it's literally not on this one it's a t10 again torque spit hole in the end and it's held in two screws going this way literally just push it out and there we go so I'm just gonna make sure I get that screw and there we go this 
this one is all fully working so I am literally just going to replace it with what I got doesn't really matter which one I use because they're both the same but yeah this is a Gates belt totally different to Gates tooth belt as you can see the tooth go careful on ordering belts because this side has a Vega X EPH205 belt it's a grooved belt not a tooth like this so yeah all right now we've done that we'll refit it um, before I start doing this can you uh, please subscribe um, I will be doing different content content and everything and uh, yeah it's important though uh, that I need subscribers because uh, doing this does take time you know I don't get paid for this this is like my own time I do this so anyway I've literally put that belt over fed it over it and then I'm gonna try and uh, just push this back into its position just lining up the screw holes again and there we go just gonna while it's there seated there we go it's all spin the brush bar and uh, it's all moving nice it's all in situ so literally these drawers are brilliant for this um, and these torch picks I have a, a short video just explaining what tools I do use and I do state that I, you know where I get these from off eBay and how much they are I think they've gone down to like £4.85 a pack of 10 um, or 11 pack of 11 so they're really cheap but they really are useful drill brilliant saves so much time but if all you're doing is a one-off you don't need all that right when fitting this just make sure that 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 bit goes back into that, that slot that's for releasing your access cover everything else is pretty pretty normal there we go and once again it just slots back on and there we go we'll slot it back on there we go they're both springing still properly go back to the uh, T15 I'm saying T15, they can vary. They might be a T20 one day. Yeah. They're not always, always going to be the same screws. But yeah. We'll just... Uh, there we go. It's all running nice and smooth. together right hope it helps um they're not too bad to take apart and um, there's not you know you could do it with hand tools you don't you might have a minion tool kit but yeah i would uh put the cap back on um if i was you connect the connect it up test it make sure everything's working everything's put in place right and then put that cap back on uh otherwise you if something's wrong you've got to then mess about trying to get that cap off again i'm not putting it back on because i uh i'm taking them apart but anyway hope that helps <laughs>